Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Beard. I'm Jason Fox, aka Lee Cloud's Beard, and today we are discussing the tweet, act as if it is no one else's responsibility to defend the work but your own, and do not stop until proven, not merely told otherwise. Creative people often don't really have an issue about defending the work. We like to defend the work. We like to argue about how super duper awesome the work is, especially when you're younger. Ask me how I know. Nonetheless, it is your job to defend the work in as um, a tactful a way as you possibly can. You don't want to be that person who argues about every little thing. But if you've got a good idea or a good execution and it really needs to see the light of day and no one else is going to defend it but you, then be that person. If you can enlist the help of other people to defend the work, do that, because often the best defense is a good offense. And since you're the person who created the work, people will see your opinion as being just a touch biased. But if you've got somebody on another uh, creative group who really digs it, have them talk about it. Have them show it around. Have them just discuss it with others and say, hey, did you see what so-and-so came up with? That team did a really great job with this idea. I hope it really gets produced. I hope it gets produced. Not really gets produced. I don't know how you really, really produce something. These are all extemporaneous folks. Go with it. Make sure they actually do like your idea. Otherwise, it's a bit deceitful. But if they do, have at it. Do what you can. Sometimes you do have to be the irritant. Sometimes you will be labeled as an irritant or a malcontent. Well, don't do it in a malcontented way. Try not to be irritating to the point of uh, distraction for the job at hand or for your job at hand. The pearls don't come without a bit of irritation. Don't you just love that metaphor? But it's true. And if you're going to be irritating, make sure you got a pearl. Some people aren't going to like it. They prefer things that just sail smoothly. Well, you know where it's always smooth sailing? Out there on the oblivious sea. Where nothing really changes and nothing good ever happens. But at least it's nice and placid. We don't want placid. We want greatness. And if it's up to you to make sure that happens, then go forth and Godspeed. I'm Jason Fox. Have a good one.